Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's me, Jimmy, back with more Millionaire Milkman. And today is June, and we are running up close to our one year anniversary of being here on the farm. We just got back from uh, taking some some goods down to the store to make some money. So I think we made about a hundred thousand for that first load. We got one more load to take back to the store uh, to finish selling the rest of what we have. But on today, we need to cut more grass. We have plenty of straw. We've got plenty of hay. Well, we got we've got hay, but we are running low on on grass. We need to get some grass. So today, I want to work on the grass aspect of the yard. Uh, you will see I've done a little bit of work on uh, on the ranch. I guess it'd be more of a ranch because there's more animals than actual like crops and stuff. But as we come across this hill, you'll see. We've made some changes to the farm. We still have these cows. They're, they they still don't have a home. They don't still they they're still out in the open, and that's okay. But we come around this way. I have sold the hay bale uh, shack shed, whatever it was, because it was just kind of a pain to have to get these out and load them up. And I'm trying to make raising cows and getting milk as easy as possible and we are growing crop just for the straw aspect but uh i do want to save the crops we do have that way we can sell them at a better time and normally your your cereal type grains um are sold more you know for in january so we're gonna hang on to the stuff that we're making so far until january and if we go back here i was able to get my hands on one of these silos i guess we could call it where it takes bales it takes everything else and it'll spit out anything you need so this right here has got a pretty big capacity they will even come back out in bales if i wanted to but i can put bales in here or just loose uh pickup but as you can see we have about 161,000 liters of straw 100,000 liters of hay and we only have less than 2,000 liters of grass so we definitely need to get some of this grass cut definitely uh need to get this all you know so scooped up and ready to go and then when you get done you can come in here and it will spit out everything you need uh so this was uh it was pricey it took me down to about two thousand dollars between selling that buying those really really cheap silos i know they're ugly they really don't match the farm but i don't want to uh, just sit on so i want to be able to store stuff so this is uh the two purchases i made I, like i said i sold the other one and got these so i'm gonna go ahead and hop back in the old massey ferguson 7s 210 i'm gonna work horse i'm gonna go over here and grab the eggs i'm also gonna grab the rest of the i think they've got a few things of honey and then I also have, I think, a couple of things of strawberries. So let's get to all this. What, what was I going to get from the store? I know I needed something. Oh, I need something. Uh, let's see. It needs, it, the weeds are medium. It needs lime. So we need to get some lime. Do I have a fertilizer spreader or a limer? I do not. That's one thing I do not have. We have our drilling or our planter. We have a roller cultivator and plow chisel plow and then there's our thing all right so we're gonna have to go up the store i'm gonna have to sell what we have i'm gonna have to get something i'm gonna have to load up uh some lime and i don't think we can kill uh these weeds with a because they're already medium sized already medium sized and the yield bonus is really low no good no good um so i guess maybe we'll get a sprayer and a um a sp uh, spreader that way i can get some stuff down but i'm gonna go ahead and pick up all of these uh different things around and i will meet you uh back at the ranch as soon as i get back all right so we ended up with the john deere sprayer and the john deere uh spreader so we're gonna go ahead and actually hook up the sprayer gonna hook up the sprayer we're gonna spray for weeds and then we're gonna put down some liquid gold and if you know what that means we're gonna put down some fertilizer for the straw so this is gonna be the herbicide go ahead and fill the herbicide up thousand liters of that probably gonna have to pull those off eventually so let's go ahead and undo or do that and there we go we should be fine right all tires and tracks okay so we're not gonna damage anything 
So let's go ahead and uh, turn this on and go ahead and spray our crops down. Try to kill some of these weeds that are in here because we uh, we want them to go away. We don't want weeds in our in our in our wheat. No weeds in our wheat. There we go. Spray that down. Turn it off so we don't waste any. So we don't waste any. Go ahead and get started again. Come down this way. Excellent. Excellent. So uh, the plan, I, we we realized that the milk is you get the most out of your milk in October. So we're definitely June, July, August, September, October. We got a few months to go to really kick up the milk production. And after one year, we're gonna see exactly how far we've gotten to being a millionaire when it comes to being the cow man. I'm excited to see what October holds and how much money we're gonna get. This is our first, uh, I mean, technically it's one year. We've, we've already, okay. We've already sold milk before and of course you you all saw it was a whopping five thousand dollars but i'd like to see how much we're gonna get this time I'm, I'm pretty excited pretty excited for it the weeds didn't really grow down here in this they didn't really grow down in this part but they definitely grew way up here so hopefully hopefully this herbicide will take care of all the weeds we have so let me go ahead and finish spraying this because we still got to get the lime down so Give me a second and uh, let me finish this up. All right, we have the field fertilized and we put the herbicide down. So that's good to go. So hopefully that yield will come around. We'll get rid of some of them weeds and we'll have an optimal wheat harvest. This go around, we'll go ahead and drop this right here. We gotta pick up the lime, we gotta pick up the spreader. We gotta put down some of that delicious lime on the field the field loves the limes we're gonna go ahead and grab this and we will hook up well we'll back up and then we will fill our spreader little john deere spreader there we go open it up perfect perfect backup please don't say anything about it but if you made it this far in the video tell me what is your favorite gatorade flavor if you don't drink Gatorade, Powerade. If you don't drink energy, uh, sports drinks at all, well, I'm out of luck. I guess you can't answer this one. But yes, tell me. Okay, let me go ahead and get this limed real quick, and we shall continue, and we'll see you in a minute. All right, we got the entire field with herbicide, with fertilizer, and now we have finished up with the lime. I believe the output or the yield on this is gonna be absolutely amazing. And it only took uh, one one tank of the, the lime to do this whole field. I'm sure I, you know, overlapped and things like that, but that's okay. Nothing wasted, we got 2% left. Let's go ahead and finish this up. That way we don't have anything left in the tank. It is 4.30 already. I thought I would have time to get around to uh, mowing some grass and baling and uh, picking up some more some more things for the shed, but I don't know. We'll have to see. We might get a couple couple rows cut just to pick up some grass. That way we'll have some something to put in our brand new shed silo. I'm going to call it a silo because it, it, it holds some stuff. So let's go ahead and get our mower on. Go ahead and get this on and uh, let's cut a few passes around the yard and uh, start baling. All right, we got the grass cut, we got it wind road, and what I realized is technically we don't need to bail ever again because, you know, I'm eventually gonna probably buy a better forage wagon here. Oh man, the, uh, the, 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 real, the real mods uh, for things. Oh, it looks so good with the grass. Okay, um, so before we normally say, hey, how many bales did I bale? 
This time it's going to be how many liters of grass did I collect in the forge wagon to take to our brand new silo. So if you get it right, I'll shout you out, put your name up on the thing, do whatever. If you count, if you know how many liters of grass I collected today to put into our uh, uh, silo. So good luck. Let me know. Put the leaders in the comments below. We got a bunch of grass picked up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is uh, much easier than picking up bales. I tell you what, go ahead and cut and then windrow and then boom, in the forge wagon, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support on this series and all the other series I have on the channel. Be sure to leave a like, be sure to leave a comment and be sure to sub to the channel because we're getting so close to a thousand subs here. I can smell it. And it's all because of you guys. You all have been amazing. Thank you so much. Please take care of yourself and have a good night.